eyes and shine early grind recognize i'm certified 12 tribes worldwide don't act like you ain't heard about it i'm a young kind of fly babylon traumatized hit the block prophesy hit me when you down the ride nigga tell me now how you figure you rob me for everything and then break me down to a nigga red clay be the dirt in them shackles of iron bigger system made to enslave an intelligent mind nigga listen i got crumbs of l.e i To each of again. Y'all got a dollar bill? Uh, no dollar bill? When you look at the back of the dollar bill, what's on the back of the dollar bill? Okay, you got the White House on, on the other side of the dollar bill. What's on the other side? You got it right here. You got the sign right here. Right here. When you look at the back of your dollar bill, what's on the back side of it? What you see right here? Oh, an eagle. An eagle. The eagle represents what? What, what, what nation do you think it represents? It shows you all right here. What what, e, what nation is represented by the eagle? Okay. Today. America, right? America. So why on the other side of the dollar bill is there a pyramid? What, what, when, you think, when you look at a pyramid, what do you think of? What place? Egypt. Egypt, right? So listen to what the Bible says. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So on the back of the dollar bill, it's showing you America and Egypt are synonymous, right? Meaning the same thing. The Bible just said, read it again, watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now, when we got here to America, what did they do to us? We, we already established, we came over here, you good officer. We came over here on slave ships, right? And as we came over on slave ships, they was taking your people back to Europe. So when we got off the slave ships, what's the first thing they started doing to us? Y'all know? We get off the slave ships. Well, we got shackles on, right? Because we were kidnapped, like you said. We get off those slave ships, and what did they do to us? You said what? You said what? They sold us, right? You think that's in the Bible? Watch this. Read it. Now keep reading the curse. Keep reading the curse. They should see it no more again. So now, we got off the, we on the slave ships. We established that America is synonymous with Egypt, right? Fine. So now, they brought us over. I just showed you they brought us over on slave ships. And now, this is what happened next. And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and for bond women. Slave men and slave women. When we got off those slave ships, this is what happened to our people. Now, now, this is historical, right? This happened, this is the fact, right? Is the Bible older than 1619? It's way older than 1619. Is the Bible older than 1492? It's how old do you think the Bible is? It's real old. Prior to all of this happening, though, right? So why are we reading in the Bible if it happened prior to all of this? What are we reading? Prophecy. We're reading a prophecy that became what? History. History. This is now history that we can go in the Bible and say, this happened to who? Did this happen to all people? It's very well documented that it happened to who? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But we've never been taught this in the Catholic Church ever. No, what do they teach you in the Catholic Church? Okay, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. But they said this man is your Lord and Savior. And we just had Sonia Massey get killed by someone that looked just like him. And he said, I'm not guilty. And he sleeps fine at night. All the day long, the people that they said was Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior will kill you and do you wrong. Redline you into certain neighborhoods, take your money, have you build their houses and will send you off to the other side of the county. Right? You've been taught that in Catholicism. What has it benefited you? What else they teach you in Catholicism? To worship him, okay. You love Jesus? Yeah, Okay, what color is he? Well, from what the Bible says, he's black. So how do you love Jesus? I don't know. You don't know? Do you know? 
You don't know how to show love to Jesus? So think about it. Think about it. How long have you been going to church? How long has Catholicism been taught to you? Since you was born, right? And the purpose of you going into Catholicism is for when you die, that you go where? To heaven, right? So all the time, you mean to tell me this whole your whole lives, y'all been taught by this man about how to get the kingdom, but I ask you, how do you love Jesus? How do you get the kingdom of heaven? You say what? You don't know. So the whole time this man ain't taught you how to get the kingdom. Why would he teach you how to get the kingdom? Why would he teach you how to get the kingdom if on this side he's killing you all the day long? He hates you. So why would I teach you how to get the kingdom of heaven? He won't teach you how to get the kingdom of heaven. But the black Messiah that's for you and for our people, this is what he told us to do. Matthew 19 and 16. Listen to this. This is how we get the kingdom of heaven. The book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. And behold what came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do? This is, this is a man speaking to Christ. He asked Christ, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have what? That I may have eternal life. That I may have the eternal life, the kingdom of heaven. Watch, read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. Right. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want to get the kingdom of heaven, read. Keep the commandments. You have to keep the commandments. So in Catholicism, what commandments did they teach you? What, what about you, Gabor? What, what commandments did they teach you in Catholicism? You don't know any commandments. What about you? So it means that that wasn't really taught and instilled in you. Because if you've been in there all your life, there would be something you would just say off the top of your head. Meaning what? Again, this man is not for us. He wasn't there to teach you. He, the reason why our people went into Catholicism, you wonder why? Is because they was burning your forefathers on the cross. If you didn't convert to Catholicism. It was never to benefit you. It was for you to them to take your mind and to make you worship them spiritually, right? Now, we understand that in order to get the kingdom of heaven, we have to what? Read it again. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. In order to enter into life, you have to what? Keep the commandments. I asked you what a commandment was, and you don't know none, right? Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 4, real quick. Because it doesn't benefit us to teach you all this, and you don't know the commandments. The only way to live, the only way to escape this captivity is to keep God's commandments, bro. If they're not teaching you that in the church, that church is not for you. These churches were set up to keep us from understanding the black Messiah, to keep us from understanding the truth of the Bible. You understand that? If you somewhere and they're not teaching you, since you're supposed to have your head covered and you're supposed to have a dress on, that they, they hate you. They hate you. If they're not telling you, you gotta stop smoking weed, you gotta stop abusing your body, if that's your girlfriend, you're not supposed to have a girlfriend, you're supposed to get married, they're not teaching you those things, it's not beneficial to you. Because the wages of sin to our people is death. The reason why we came over here and another nation was able to put yokes of iron on our neck, you gotta think about it. When you think about your people and having this land, right? Your, your forefathers knew the whole lay of the land. They knew where the mountains were, they knew where the valleys were, the rivers, the oceans. They had they had the battle of, what would you call it? They had the advantage, they had every advantage and they had the numbers. There was not enough ships for them to come over here and to take over your people. Think about it. There wasn't enough of them when they came over to take over your people. What happened? What happened that they was able to come over here and take over your people and take your forefathers' land? It had to be something spiritual. The Lord was on their side. Why? Because of our sins. So in order to come out of this, what must we do? We got to keep the commandments. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Watch but this. I will have you to know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. This is your head right here, bro. Read. And the head of the woman it's the man. And that's another thing that's not being taught today. The head of the woman, who's the head of the woman? Who will be your head? If our, if the man's head is Christ, who's your head? Mary. You said Mary? No, we need to get it. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man, Read. And the head of Christ is God. 
listen, the, the, at the forefront of Christ, the Black Messiah's movement, is the man. You learned that the Sister Mary, Mother Mary, all that from Catholicism. You understand? You got to honor the man. And then you honor the man in, in uh, what would you say? In return, that's also you honoring Christ and so on and so forth. But today we're not taught that. Today, what do we see in the, uh, in the uh, what would you say? What, what do you see out in the world today as far as men and women? You said women trying to be what? Equal, right? What is that called? What movement is, is uh, what would you say, prevalent today? Feminism. Feminism. You're a feminist? Okay. I had to check, bro. Just for your sake. Say that for the same six years, bro. You better run. But listen, <laughs> feminists, feminists, that's big today. Why is it big today? We have churches on every corner, right? But why is it not being taught the spiritual order according to the Bible? Because they teach opposite according to the Bible. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.